It's time to give the people what they want. It's Jalen and Jacoby. He is Jalen Rose. What up, no? I'm David Jacoby. And on the call, check. But none of that matters because the champ is here. The champ is here. Carry Champion joining us today on Jalen and Jacoby on ESPN2. Thank you for joining us. I'm so excited. I've been begging to come on your show. Not only are we international, we're going coast to coast. Coast to coast. We're going coast to coast. What do we do on this show, Jalen? We give the people what they want. (laughs) (laughs) If the people wanted to enjoy the first night of NBA action, they got to for about five minutes until Gordon Hayward got hurt. Yes. But there was news that broke of a fight in practice for the Bulls. Jalen Rose, it's time for you to take us behind the curtain. Here's how this happens. You have Miritich and Bobby Portis. They're around the same age. Mm -hmm. They play the same position. Mm -hmm. There are no seasoned veterans on the Chicago Bulls. Remember the last couple of years when Mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade, along with Jimmy Butler... We're out of step. Who brought them back in? Rajon Rondo. Oh, yeah. Facebook posts. Yeah. These guys need to practice. These guys need to lead. In today's NBA, it's cheaper to keep all younger players on the roster. Mm-hmm. So spots 10 through 15, those used to be seasoned vets. And you know what they do? They teach the young guys how to be professional, how to deal with the media, how to deal with adversity, how to deal with adjusting to your role, and definitely not fighting one. And how to not punch each other in the face? If vets were on that roster, carry champion David <laughs> Jacoby. Yes. This dish doesn't happen in one day. These guys throw elbows and dislike each other every other day. Sure. And then all of a sudden it becomes something that boils over and it's really unfortunate for them and the squad. Here's one thing that you said when we found out about this news. You said, oh, that's on the teammates. Oh, that's on the teammates. Because, Carrie, can't you imagine a scenario in which there are two dudes barking at each other, trying to be, trying to act like they want to fight, but they don't really want to fight? It's, the onus is right, on the other right. people there you're right. to sort of break it up. Don't you're you right. think? I agree, because you never want to pop. And no one wants to go at it, so you just have to leave it. Yeah, no, you're right. So we, I agree. They're too young, and you were right about Rajon. They don't have Dwayne Wade there. They don't have anybody there. It's only <laughs> roster. That's my point exactly. They have all players that are at the point of the career where they're trying to make a name for themselves or be out of the league. Okay, so I want to know who's responsible in terms of the person who got hit. So we're saying that Meritage is hurt, right? Yes. yes. Concussion? There are reports from our colleague Woj uh-huh. that Meritage was actually the aggressor in the scuffle. That's what I hear. That Meritage was the one kind of chasing him around or whatever. So then when I hear that, I don't feel so bad about the fact that he got punched in the face. It's like, oh, guess what? You're running around trying to fight somebody, yeah. and then you get punched in the face when you fight somebody. Yeah, you're going to get it. And you mentioned the aggressor, which means an instigation took place, which means this was a process, like I said. Mm-hmm. It wasn't simultaneous. They didn't wake up that morning, I don't like you, I don't, you don't like me, and then I just punch you in the face. It don't work like that. How many fights did you have? I had zero fights as an NBA player. Zero? Yes. That would be none. I had a lot of... <sighs> Hold me back! <laughs> type of moments. <laughs> as this should have become. Mm-hmm. You don't allow it to get like this. What That's are your right. thoughts? When people disagree that are your teammates, that are your friends, yeah. violence is always the answer. Yeah, no, you can't. Violence is not always the answer. No, violence. Yeah, what? Or maybe. You know what though? You ever you ever get into a dis you know uncomfortable agreement with your coworker? Have you ever? Mm. All the time, every day. Off air, on, on air. air, off air, all the time. How do you guys resolve that? Well, we basically just bury it deep down in our souls until it bubbles up later in life. Okay. <laughs> isn't that how everyone does this? Like, isn't this how this works? We just pretend everything's fine and then just move on? No, you're right. No, I honestly, I so you have awkward, these awkward moments. I have them every morning on our show. I love, I really do love David Lloyd. He Absolutely. gets on my nerves. There's a buck yes. coming. Yeah, that's how it Mutual. always is. That's he, how it always is. Mutual. He gets on all of my nerves. Is it true Correct. that you guys this do that show coast so to coast so you will not have a physical altercation? <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> Sorry, we gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, we can't yes. just separate. Them. We got to get them 3,000 miles yes. apart from each other to make yes, that happen. Yes, yes, yes. I put so, them paws on them once, and that was it. The, the big game was between the Celtics and the Cavs. We're all excited uh-huh. about it. And before the game, there was plans from the Cleveland Cavaliers to run a video tribute to Kyrie Irving. Uh-huh. Those plans were found out by the Cavaliers players who shut down the video tribute. Uh-huh. If you were a Cleveland Cavalier, 
Would you stand up and say you cannot run this tribute to Kyrie Irving? I would. I, no, listen, you're gone. It's not, seriously, I, I, it's fine. It's great. I love you. It's good. You went on. You did your thing. But no, it's there. Why? Why does he deserve a tribute? We, explain to me why exactly. Because you got us a chip. It's actually LeBron. Because you were here for all this time without a chip. He doesn't deserve it. You're on a new team. And it's a better sports city. And you have other things to do. I would not allow that to happen. Not on my watch. I'm petty, though. So, Jalen, I know I'm how you operate. Petty. I know how you operate. If you were in the Cavs locker room, would you say something to management? Or would you tell someone else to say something to management? I'm rolling with Kerry. I just tell LeBron. Yeah. 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 LeBron, just tell LeBron. Yeah. You don't have to talk to a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you wanted a tribute to happen, guess what would have taken place? It would have been a tribute. Yeah, exactly. No uh, question about it. It wasn't the Cavs players. You're right. LeBron got a hold of it. It's LeBron. No, that's LeBron. what it was. Yeah, just tell LeBron. Oh, you don't want to run with us? Okay, we don't want to do a tribute for you. Uh -huh. And you know they say time heals all wounds, but not yet. It doesn't. Well, it's interesting. Let's watch the hug after the game. So Kyrie Irving had a chance to tie the game. He misses the shot. It was a tough shot. And then immediately oh, LeBron. they do the handshake and the hug. LeBron gives him a little snuggle. Were you surprised <laughs> at this immediate sort of, you know, embrace right after the game? So it was like Marlon Wayans back in the day when he'd give you the bro hug and he'd just rub your head 15 times. <laughs> yeah, yes. The reason why it transpired like that, the horrific injury that took yeah. place to Gordon Hayward. Oh, good yeah. point. Because what yeah. initially takes place is people use all of these terms as it relates to sports. You're going to battle. You're going to war. Mm. And then all of a sudden you see a guy fracture his ankle and yeah, it was shatter awful. his fibula like yeah. something that we have not seen. And all of a sudden it humanizes everyone. The Good audience, point. the players. And yes, you asked to leave us, but man, it could always be worse. Give me some love and right. I'll see you next time. You're right. At the end of the day, they made it look like, you know what, all this really isn't worth it at the end of the day. I appreciated that. Although... It was nice. Oh, oh. Although I'm still of the belief that Kyrie can't stand him and, he, and LeBron can't I stand him. I kind of think so too. I still, I don't think they because like each here's other. Here's the thing, I read into things way too much uh -huh. and the staff and I have concocted this. We've quantified the hug. Uh -huh. We've decided who won. Okay. If you watch here, you will see LeBron <laughs> does the head snuggle. That's one head pat. Two head pats, three head pats. <laughs> Kyrie feels like he has to return uh -huh. fire. Uh -huh. And then and LeBron then goes back time. at him oh, for no, a third. Oh no, you are right. You are so right. LeBron won the hug four to two. Do you agree? <laughs> but wait, he did it like little kid, little kid, and Correct. Kyrie was he like, oh, like "No, nah, you can't just yeah, do that." He's like, "I'm man. not letting you son me." And then at the end, LeBron was like, "I'm gonna do one more because I'm better yep, than see, you." Just I love so see you know. Kyrie. Kyrie feels the two. He's like, yeah, "I'm not gonna let you play me with me like that. I'm gonna give you a couple there." He's like, "No, I won." Oh, I love it so much. I'm here for the pettiness. And that happens different if you, LeBron, and the Celtics win the game. What happens? Oh, yeah. no what happens? Shake, He's no the hug. big brother. He finds a way to exit stage left and give him that, that point. Yeah. You know, like in Friday <laughs> when <laughs> mom is off to work and the neighbor's waving at him. Hey, girl. Uh, hey. Hey. <laughs> Look what you got on. Coming okay. up next <laughs> on Jalen Jacoby, Care Champ is going to stay with us. The champ is here. I'm Aisha hanging. Curry made a mistake. Uh -oh. Aisha. And let it out that Steph Curry has a very interesting fetish. You we'll like fill you in fetishes. after this. When you don't like someone, you go at them harder. I don't care what anybody says. Mm. That, that mm. whole I go at my brother harder stuff, mm. no, that, that, that's not accurate. If Larry Brown was driving to the hole, I would follow him different than Jawan Howard. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. So, I would like to see that, So, so for everybody that acts that. like it's the same, it is not the same. <laughs> Welcome back to Jalen and Jacoby. We are joined yeah. by Carrie Champions. Today. Yeah. Every Wednesday, we have Women Crush Wednesday on the radio show. We uh -huh. celebrate the more intelligent, more responsible, uh, okay. kinder, the appropriate, so you, better gender then, of then our why, species. Oh, then why'd you bring me on? Because you're the only person who would agree to come on the show. <laughs> yeah. Who else is available at one in the morning? You know, Nobody. like, come on. <laughs> We've been trying to get this clip cleared for like a week now. And they will not clear the clip, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Aisha Curry. And you can just Google a clip. Was on The Real. Uh-huh. And she was asked, what is like the most scandalous picture in your phone? And she she obviously was like, went through her head, like, cancel that one, cancel that one. And she showed a picture of her feet. And then she said that when Steph Curry asks for nudes, mm -hmm. she sends him pictures of her feet because Steph Curry has a foot fetish. Yeah. And then she immediately saw those words come out of her mouth and was like, I really messed up on live television. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. So, Carrie. Uh-huh. How do you feel about this particular thing that Steph Curry has? It, 
I don't. Okay, so I'm not a big person. Like, I don't like feet. Period. Right. Oh, I don't, okay. I, that's not my thing. I and I don't understand men that do, but I think men thinks think it indicates what type of woman they're dealing with. So, if you were Aisha and you let out this secret on national television. How do you tell Steph Curry? Because he was—I don't think he was watching the reel that day. Okay. How do you tell Steph Curry that it happened? Well, you just be like, "Babe, I told everybody you like feet." But I don't know if you—I don't know if you guys now know. You, you, have you seen the women actually sending him foot photos? That's wait, what's wait, wait, going wait, wait. to happen. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh no, it's a big thing. Like women are jumping into his DMs and not necessarily DMs, his mentions mm -hmm. with pictures of their feet. They're like, so, so how about this? What you think? How you doing? She's probably upset because now these ladies are trying to get her man with their feet. Jalen, would you tweet yeah. Steph Curry a picture of your feet? Could you? I Could you would please not. for the show? Good I, press for the show. I'm like Carrie. I'll do it. I'll do it in a second. I'm I got not good feet. Into my personal feet. I'm not, I'm not into your feet either. Yeah. You know, yeah. because yeah. when yeah. you're wearing a size eight. And the shoes you're rocking are a size six growing up. Uh -huh. You got oh, corns for a long time. Man. And then you run and play basketball and stop. Like, yeah. I have feet like they were in the Flintstones. Well, what do your toenails look like? Not like Shaq's. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not like Shaq's. But what I will say is this. Uh -huh. I have to follow up. Uh -huh. So what do you think about all of the thirsty uh -huh. females oh, that are sliding in his DMs so knowing, knowing that he's in a relationship? How do you feel about the woman that's pushing up on the dude? I think that's the worst thing ever. And or vice versa. Will she or he know that they got to make? I think that is the worst thing ever. Here's the thing. When people do that, it's no, no respect at all for anybody. Mm. And that's it's already hard to be an athlete and live that life. How many women are coming at you? If you're, I'm looking at him, and you know about that. When all the women were coming at you. All the time. Every time I leave the house, that's what I'm saying. Every day. I, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You're on TV every day. You yeah. make millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. You have to stop these yeah, women. Billions, actually. Yeah. Billions. You know, and, that, I, and legit. How'd you stop the women? It's uh, one of those things, as you mentioned, it's just, just disrespectful. It's flagrant. Well, it's flagrant. It is. It's something else happened that was a little disrespectful and flagrant I want to bring to your uh -oh. attention. Okay. As we see in this picture right here. Rick Ross attended <laughs> Gucci Mane's wedding. Look, there's Diddy. Gucci! Uh -huh. And he had uh -huh. a Wingstop uh -huh. cup uh -huh. at the uh -huh. wedding. Something wrong with that? Carrie, if this was your wedding, oh my God. would you be offended if one of the guests, even if it is Ricky Rose, no, no. brought a promotional Wingstop cup no, no. to the wedding? You know what? Because he made that wedding possible, right? He helped out, right? He's like he gave us a bag, right? He came to represent, right? Yeah, he probably had a, he probably, probably had a nice gift for the he probably, for the right. He probably yeah gave him some money, and th that was a, maybe fair. there was wings there. <laughs> maybe there was wings there. Perhaps there Perhaps were wings there. there. Uh -huh. So I would Catered. I would be mad. Catered courtesy See, of Wingstop. Really? I think really? this isn't the time for your no, to plug care. your brand. I, I disagree this with you. This isn't the time for that because Rose, 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 shout out to Gucci Mane for you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Television, so mm -hmm. which means that you're there to promote what you're trying to right. get off, and so am I. My disappointment in Rose and his amazing cup is that everybody else didn't have one. When yeah, Jalen yeah. gets married, his suit's gonna look like a NASCAR outfit, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have all these brands on it, he's gonna be selling stuff like a boxer, he's gonna have a, a stamp on his forehead. I can see that. Uber.com, <laughs> who like that? I got because you gotta hustle. Gotta you gotta hustle. make your money. Pictures and everything. Everything. Sponsored. So this is a very important piece of news. Okay. Carmelo Anthony spoke speaking to the New York Times, I believe. I don't really uh, read stuff. Yeah. And he said that Phil Jackson would trade him for a bag of chips. Now, what Carrie, you by... if you were traded for a bag of chips, what type of chips what would, I be? would you want to be traded for? <laughs> I mean, this is difficult because I, I love a couple of kinds of chips. But Doritos. I'm going to stick with Doritos. Doritos, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go I, with Doritos. I would go with, like, you can trade me for a bag of chips, but I want it to be like peanut butter chocolate Chex Mix. You that's know not those ones? That's not chips. Doritos aren't chips either. Doritos aren't chips. Those are tortilla chips. chips. That's it. That's, that's, you know what? That's the staff said to me, too. That's you know? not this chips. This is exactly what the staff said to me, too. Those aren't really chips. Those they come in a chips. bag. There are some chips in the mix. It's a mix. There's chips involved. It, they're not chips. There's chips involved. No, they're no, they're not chips. It's like a hot dog isn't a sandwich. Like their chips aren't. It's you know like, what? Preach to him. You know I don't you, like you this anymore. You see the kind of things that we do. I, I, I don't like this yeah. anymore. I'm not being ganged up on. You know what I mean? This is why we don't have guests on this show. This is why we don't have guests on this show because I get ganged up on. I gotta go. You don't like me? Chips. Let me say. I would say you better make barbecue chips and barbecue popcorn. Okay, I like it. What did you say? Checks? Who said it in your ear, Reggie? No. We had an argument Harlan? earlier in the day about this. Yeah. Okay, guys. I prepare for the show. Uh -oh. Unlike you, Jalen You know Jaylen what Rose. this is? Mm -hmm. We call it on this program. It's cultural. Uh-huh. You know what else this is? <laughs> this is a fight. And we're going to argue about it during the this, break. Is, do you think it's cultural? Do you feel like we are ganging up on you because it's cultural? No. Okay. Because no, they're not no, chips. No. They're not. And a hot dog. 
I don't think they're really chips. I was just trying to think of the best Anything chips. Anything that has a bread chips. is a sandwich. A bun? Let's a argue bread? about this in a break. We gotta go. When we come back, we will not have Carrie Champion. But we, you are what? welcome back any time you want. Okay, let me ask you a question. You Do, what does that mean? Can I stay for one more segment? If you choose. Nah, I'm gonna say no. Ah! <laughs> Welcome back to Jalen and Jacoby. First, I want to thank Carrie Champion for joining us here on Woman Crush Wednesday on Jalen and Jacoby. She had to bounce, but right now we have some statue news. Jalen Rose, I know how much you love statues. We have some sad news. Ken Griffey Jr. statue, someone stole the bat. I have some good news. The bat has been recovered. And the person who stole the bat has been caught by the police. So my question for you is this. I know you love statues, and I know you love baseball bats. How did the police catch you? They got me. <laughs> they, did, they did, right? And here's the thing. How did they even know it was you? Fingerprints? No, it's a public Video facility. And Video I tape? slept on the fact that they got cameras. They got cameras everywhere. There's wind security, and they're like, there's a seven foot six black man. He's, <laughs> he's trying to break the bat. He's got another bat. He's hitting the statue bat with a wooden bat. He's not a very good thief, but he got it done. And absolutely. And when they, when I figured I was being apprehended, I was laying on the ground two miles before they arrived. Yeah. Didn't want any issues. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't want the bat. They see you with the bat. Who knows what's going to happen? Didn't want any issues. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's move on. So, last night during the Warriors-Rockets game, it was a good game. The star of the show was Nick Young for a while. But the real star of the show was this gentleman. Gentleman in the stands, dressed up like Clay Thompson, with the goatee and the uniform and the whole thing. He looks like Clay. Soft move or boss move, dressing up as your favorite player. In today's era, I have to say this. Boss move. I'm checking into the game if I'm in. I'm checking into the game. I'm going all the way there. And you know when in. the Lions win, I roar. Mm -hmm. And when they struggle, I purr. The reason why I didn't say boss move with my chest. Oh, why not, Mr. Rose? Is because I'm not the biggest fan of the individuals that necessarily... That don't necessarily have talent, but you don't think that's talent. Are able to parlay that into an opportunity in which they're able to profit off of. Again, I'm not mad. I don't at, know how much he's getting paid as a Clay Thompson I'm not impersonator. Finished. I'm not mad at those who start off as IG models. That's I'm not mad start. at those that start off doing whatever it takes, it, even exposing and or demeaning themselves to be on reality TV. How do you think I got this show? See um the people on Jerry Springer. Like he's the person that show is what springboard what okay. became the springboard into people like the Kardashians for me. So well, tells I can't me. be mad at him because guess what happened today and tomorrow? And in the future. No you one's know talking what about him tomorrow. No. People gonna continue to show him on television. We'll see. One like thing I was thinking about did. is I thought this was a soft move and then I remembered Halloween's around the corner. So you could just be getting in the spirit of Halloween. <laughs> you know, Halloween, if it, this was November, I might be a little more freaked out about it. We have this. Rick Pitino told Jay Billis in a very serious feature on SportsCenter later tonight, SVP edition. That, that he got the wrong Yeezys. No, <laughs> no. That he passed a lie detector test that said he had no knowledge of any payments between Adidas and his assistant coaches or agents and his assistant coaches. Now, well, let's just put Patino to the side for a second. I have a very specific question for you, Mr. Rose. Do you think you could lie to a lie detector and pass? Clearly, because he did. I think I could lie to a lie detector and pass. What would be your strategy? If, if you, were, you were on a polygraph right now and you had to lie, what would be your strategy? After watching said reality show that now made Steve a star before he was security. Are you going back to they Jerry were, Springer? I was going to be able to talk as a media personality and not use that term twice, but make people understand what I was going. Oh, okay. And so with that being said, I see people on that show who talk about staying calm, not mm. allowing their heart rate to get up, not sweating, not feeling... Um, a sense of anxiety or nerves and therefore people who you're the father end up it ain't yours 
<laughs> on that show all of the time. Are you still watching then, Jerry Springer? What did they end up doing at the end? Fighting. This is why. Still a gray area. Are you still watching Jerry Springer? Uh, no. I used to love that show. Chris Mullen and Patrick Ewing. Throwback! P.E. crazy. Crazy P.E. Chris Mullen and Patrick Ewing. Throwback! You know I used to call Mullen that with his game and his flat top as he's my teammate and my OG. And Patrick Ewing, P.E. crazy. Crazy P.E. Is Patrick Ewing mad at you about the television? Jeff Van Gundy's mad at me about it. Oh, yeah? Because he was the assistant coach responsible for making sure making those it tapes. got from Indiana <laughs> to the road to him delivering it to Big Fella's room. You know, someone yelled at Jeff Van Gundy, you guys supposed to take care of a basketball team? You can't even take care of a television slash VCR. That was Pat Riley. <sighs> anyway, Chris Mullen and Patrick Ewing he were on the crazy. radio. Throwback! <laughs> and they said that they were the only two players that took the dream team practices seriously. Okay, now we've all heard about these famous scrimmages, but they're saying in general, no one was taking it very seriously. If you had Larry and Magic and Michael on your team, would you take practice serious? They were taking it serious for the reasons you just alluded to, but I'm going to tell you who else was taking it serious. He better have been. Christian Leitner. <laughs> he was taking it serious. They was like, wait a minute. Coach K's on the staff, and they taking him over Shaq? Hmm, I wonder hmm, why. I wonder what he's doing here. <laughs> <laughs> and Isaiah Thomas being left off that team is one of my biggest personal tragedies in NBA history. That's one of your biggest personal tragedies in NBA history. Isaiah Thomas is my idol. And is he salty about that? And a classroom sponsor of the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy. He is. Yes, he indeed. He sponsored a whole classroom? Yes, indeed. I was so proud I sponsored a student. You sponsored more than one, sir. And you ran a marathon. And you starred in Family Feud. Can you call me Family Feud champion again? You're Family Feud superstar 